Wrap me in a bowl to The graphics at first look pretty good, but you quickly notice that the environments are pretty much the same, and they repeat a lot. I would have liked to have seen more environments. A plus is that the environments are semi-destructible, which adds to the realism of the game. The lack of graphical variety knocks the score to an average score of a 3 out of a 5. The sound is the best thing about this game. Each weapon has a unique sound and the music soundtrack really fits with the style of the game. The sound is the strongest part of this game and I just wish they put the same level of detail to the sound as the other parts of the game. I like the sound overall and it gets an above average score of a 4 out of a 5. The story is very basic and it feels rushed. The game is not about the story but about killing people and the story is a basic attempt as an excuse of why your character is there killing people. The story is forgettable at best and I would have preferred that they kept the story out and made it a multiplayer first person shooter only. There was nothing to bring the story score up so I am forced to give the story a below average score of a 2 out of a 5. The gameplay is not bad, but it takes getting used to. The controls are stiff, and the grenade mechanics are awful, and it is impossible to hit the target you was aiming at with the grenade. But your enemies can hit you with them every time. This feels like an online game at its core, based on the story but the online modes are pretty much cookie cutter and is available in almost every other first person shooter and there are zero unique online modes. The AI is pretty good which is the saving grace of this game but it does not save it from having an average gameplay score and as a result it gets a 3 out of a 5. There is an online multiplayer aspect to the game, but the fact is that there's really not an active community, and the fact that many single player gamers may not even take the time to finish the story, let alone play it again after beating it, so it really hurts the replayability. I have no choice at the moment to give the replayability a below average score of a 2 out of a 5. The game has a short and almost non-existent story, and if you're into great stories, you'll be highly disappointed. There's also hardly any online community for this game, and when you do find people to play with you, the game modes are nothing special, so online players only will also be disappointed in this game as well. I recommend passing on this game and getting a much better first-person shooter that are currently on the market that you can get for basically the same price.